thing. There we go. Fix my headset. Put my helmet on. And oh, good. Recording. We are good to go. Uh, All right. Uh, what? Uh, let me see the time. Okay. What time? Uh, what racket do you have in real life? You told me, but I forgot. Um, so I was a big fan of when I first started playing Pong, I ordered a uh, killer spin jet 600 off mm -hmm. Amazon and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And then the rubbers got wore out and I just kept ordering those paddles. And then I started getting better and I was like, well, I want a more quality rubber. So I went and I heard about the Dignix 09 and then I just put that on both sides of the blade. And the blade is what? Killer spin? Yeah. Killer spin jet 600. Uh, oh, version one blade. They have their own blades. Yeah, the version oh. two blades are a lot lighter, and I'm not used to a light blade, and I didn't like it. Uh -huh. So, so, so back is this offensive? Blade. Is this all round? What kind of blade is it? Um, it it's speed. Okay, and what settings do you have here? Um, I got 88, 88, and 115, I think. Okay, almost like mine. Let me check my um, whoops. 88, 88, 88, 114 I have. Well, 115 is also good. I got 88, 88, 115. Okay. And you have le uh, with lap bounce data, right? I don't have it click. Should I click I that? Uh, I have my settings are 88, 88, 114 with yeah. lap bounce data on. And I th what, what is that? lab bounce data that's it uh, that's um some tests uh, the developer did with uh, with he bought some rubbers and he did some tests and uh, based on those tests he uh, made those settings <clears throat> it's more like it's let's say it's more like real life a little bit more it's very very similar you will see the difference more on fast shot it's a little bit different you can try it I see so uh all right do you so what what do you have in mind what, what so i'm convinced we the first time we met i was talking to you about my backhand and you had yeah. me have it my blade like this when i go in to hit my backhand mm -hmm. and so my wrist if i just my elbow here you yeah. know under here mm -hmm. if i were to block and this right here, my wrist is all the way bent. Like it's all the way bent. Why? For me to get this, for me to get this flat, I literally have to like raise my elbow up and like lean forward. But why do? You, how do you hold your wrist? Though you have adapter, right? You have the Senlaki. No, I have the. Um, Another one. Okay. So how do you hold? Don't you hold like shake hands straight? I th I got the Tyco Tech. I don't know this. So how do you hold your rack? Don't you hold a straight shake hand? If this yep. is this is my wrist, and it yep, goes right here. So it's straight. It's not yep. like like this no. or like this. Sh normal no. shake hand. Then why is your your hand bent when you do this? Too much your wrist. So this is my hand. So if I keep my hand straight here. Yeah. It's so this is straight. Right. Okay, straight, and then just bend a little bit in front, your wrist. That's that's all the way. It's all the way bent. That's all I got. That is for me all the way bent. Yeah. But to, okay, so to you should to just stay here and then do this and then bend my racket. That's what I have. Where's your Where's your elbow? Not right now. My elbow's here. Okay. Do you have? Okay. Let's uh, do uh, your arms like straight down, next to your body. All right. Just relax. Now the only thing you do is raise your underarm up. And now let me see what I do. Now I go with my elbow. My elbow is now here. Where's your elbow? Yes. Okay. And then. And then twist, uh, turn your wrist. How does this feel? That's all. That's all I got. And do you have pressure now on your wrist? Um, if I mean, if I'm just doing it like this, yes. no. Then it's okay. I feel like maybe the the adapter I have yeah. is too thick, and the handle it's really mm -hmm. like round. 
So it might be okay. limiting my wrist a lot, okay. actually. So you shouldn't feel you shouldn't feel any any pressure on your wrist. It should should be all relaxed. So go go as much as you can and still be relaxed. Yeah, right here. Okay, and this like this, just brush the ball. One more. Okay. Are you purposely playing there? Can yeah. you play here? Okay, play yeah. here. My Sorry. backhand. Okay, you need to you need to bend a little bit more. You need to, you need to from this is relaxed. Uh, show me where it's relaxed. Still bend. This uh, relaxed. Right here. There yeah. you don't have any problem. Okay, hold your racket like this as you have now. And now the only thing you do is brush the ball like 45 degrees. Not not up. Not up. 45 degrees straight line. Yes, like this, like this. Try this. Yes, this is good. Uh, uh, you need to brush it a little bit more. There you go. Don't go. Don't don't open up your your racket. <coughs> you have to use the the rubbers, right? So the goal yeah. is to <coughs> to brush the ball, and because if you brush it in real life, the ball will stick to your rubber. Especially when right. it's in O nine C, and with the rubber you you pull the ball up to give it a spin and trajectory. So you don't play with the blade. If you do this, it means you play with the blade. This is playing with the blade. This is playing with the rubber, right? There's no. If you see how look how the trajectory goes. If I play with the blade, it goes straight. If I play with the rubber, it makes its trajectory and jumps this. So this is the goal. Yeah. Yes, to brush it. Let's let's do this. Not up. Not this. You do. You do this. Let me see if I'm recording. Yes. You uh, give me two balls. <coughs> you do this. Just straight, without without spin. Just straight. You do this, which means you're hitting it with your blade. You should do. Let me show you. Give me again. You should do this. See the difference? No. You do this. It's a <coughs> straight line. Like no, don't open. The the okay. Let's let that say When you finish your when you finish your move, yeah. your backhand should point down. Not so much, but okay. Like this, like this. What you do? This is the, the correct thing. You do this. Your your yeah. it it shows up. It should show down when uh, when you finish. Like this. Okay, try this. You need to brush the ball more. Let's try something else. You put uh, the ball in your hand, and then you do what I do. You throw it up, and then just brush it to give it trajectory like this. Just brush the ball. You don't brush the ball. You are hitting like this. You brush it here and just brush it up. A little bit more in front. A little bit more in front. Yes, but a little bit more in front. Like this. You're going here. You're going here. You should go here. Yes. Down up. No. Down up. You're you're changing. You're changing the lower part. Of your this part. This part. You're you're going in front. This shouldn't go in front. This should stay back. And this part should always stay in front. So when I play, it stays like this. This is in front. This is back. Yes. What you do, you start like this. And then you pull, uh, you push your this side in front. This is this is wrong. No, down, up. Do what I do. This. A little bit in front. Yes, this, this. Do a few of those, and now throw the ball and hit it like this. You still you're changing the movements there. Okay, this is okay. This is good. You need to brush the ball. You are hitting the ball. No, no, you are hitting. The, you are hitting the ball. See the look. If you can see the difference, hitting the ball is this, and brushing the ball is this. See, brushing the ball gives spin to the ball. Again, try here. Okay, try now here. Yes, brush a little bit more. Brush a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, you a little bit more hit. At the contact, not this hit. Like, yes, like this. This. Try it. Yes, yes. This, this. Yes. And brush it. You need. 
to feed it, to brush the body. Yes, this, but brush it more okay. So the reason, okay, stop, stop. So you start, you start good, <clears throat> you do the right movement, then you see that the ball goes to the net, like you do this and then you fall to the net, right? And then what you do, <coughs> which is logical, you say, okay, it goes to the net, so I open it up and it goes in. But this is the wrong technique. The solution is, if I do this and it goes to the net, I need to brush it more. See? With the wrist. Yes. Yes. Try. Yes. Yes. But yes, yes. Okay. A little bit. Your contact should a be a little bit harder. Like you do this, right? But the time of contact, you should do the same exact thing, but instead of this, hit it more. Don't go with your with your front. Uh, yes. Hit it a little bit more. This is this is too little. Li yes, this was better. Yes, this, this. Do a few of those, okay? And now play. I give you a ball, and you you do exactly the same. Yes, this was better. Yes. So, this this went to the net, right? The solution is now not to change the angle of the racket. The solution is to brush harder. It's like it's like pulling the ball. It's like pulling. Ima imagine that this is glue. I glue to the ball and then I pull it up. Right? You don't hit right. it like this. It glues like this and then you pull it up. So it, when it goes to the net, yes, you just pull it more. Yes, exactly. This is perfect. If you see the, the, the movement, I will make this, this movement. So later when you see the video, you see that I do this. And right before I do this, Look how you how you do the movement. This movement was perfect that you did now. Try again. This, this, and in the you do exactly this. And the goal is with this movement, I glue the ball to the racket and pull it up. It's pulling, right? It's like if I take my hand and then pull something up. It's not like hitting the ball like this. Is I glue this and pull and pull it up. Try. <coughs> Yes, yes, perfect move. Yes. Oh, now you change again. You change again. So, you know, you know what? What's easier to do? Forget, forget the table. Forget the table. Do this movement. There. <coughs> yes. This, and then brush the ball. So you don't have to concentrate if it goes in the net or not. Or on. The, you, you're changing. You're changing. Look. Yes. This. You change, and then at the end, your record is like your record should stay like no, a little bit the little bit like this, that the that the, the, this side yes yes like this, this has to end like this, a little bit more. You you're pulling this side yes, so again, down then, 45 degrees down, and then up yes, hit the ball like this. With the okay now you see it doesn't go it doesn't go you. Wait, the goal to the ball goes up. No, no, not like, not with, not with your, with, with the brush it has to go. Oh, you're changing. If you do this, look, look what you do. You do this. Not this. It's like if I do straight, look, I, do, I, I, I play exactly straight. Look how it goes. See how it goes up? I don't have to do this. I use the tackiness of the rubber. So I do just this. See how it goes up? I don't open my, I don't do this, but it still goes up because the rubber is tacky. It glues here and then I can pull the ball up. See how it goes up? See? Try this with yeah. your forehand. Try this with your forehand. <coughs> don't open it up. You open it a little straight, straight. Don't go. You go a little bit there. Go straight up, straight up. Yes. This. See how it went up? See. This is of because of the tackiness of the rubber, and with the no O9C, it's very good because it's very very spinny. So this is right. the goal. You you do straight. You use the tackiness of the rubber. It, the ball. Yes. And make trajectory. Do again. And look how the ball it goes up. See. 
Exactly. This is the spin. This is how you generate spin. Now do the, exactly the same with a backhand. Brush it up. It didn't go up. Yes. But don't change. You're changing. You're cha Yes. You're changing again. Okay, let's let's try something different. Okay, let's have it different. Close your racket like this, and then brush it up to uh, to uh, put it there in the in the in the box. You're changing again. You are changing. I have to. Show I'm me so the used. I'm hmm? just. I'm so used to doing it the same way. It's so hard. Yeah, it's changed. It's, yeah, that's the problem. If somebody has learned the wrong technique, it's much more difficult to um, to show them. And the I feel like when I'm trying to do it, like my elbow's here now because I'm I'm trying to. It's okay. My elbow's all here. Mine's right here. What? Yeah, because I'm bending. I've got to bend this racket. Your your arm should be parallel with the with the like like the uh, grip uh, like the handle is. Like, see, I'm here. Look now. This is the handle. This is my arm, and here is my elbow. Where's yours? It is too much up. Why is this too much up? Is mine also like this? Oh, okay, a little bit. Yes, like this. Okay, try. Show me again the movement without ball. Yeah, to me. This, this, yes. Just do this. Okay, I give you now a ball. Give you now a ball, and concentrate not to bring it on the table. Forget the table, all right? Just forget the table, and just concentrate on. So, because the pr the problem is that you got used to playing a certain way, so uh, f the repetition, repetition, repetition has put it in your mind, right? So uh -huh. now you may yeah. show me the right movement, but then if you look at the table, your unconsciousness will 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 bring the old movement, right? So yeah. to change that, just forget the table. There is no table, right? And okay. just do show me this movement, okay? And when I give you the ball, you concentrate not on the table, but on your hand, like you do now. Now you're concentrating to do this, right? So when the ball comes, just do exactly this movement on the ball without thinking about if it will go in or not, okay? So okay. do a few. Do a few, and then I will, I will, I will just throw your ball, and you will do the same. Like do four, five. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. Now I give you a ball. Just continue the same movement. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> just continue. <laughs> All right. Now, do the same. Then you change. Don't look. Don't look at the. Don't look at the table. Look at the ball and your movement. Let's try again. Yes, this was better, but you still open. You can. Do you see that you open? Yeah. I gotta come over here, like that. Yes, and you, yes, you should do. Show That's me the right. Right. Show, show me the movement. Okay, this, this. I will give you a higher ball because it's easier. Okay, continue. I will give you now a ball, and brush it. Yes. I will do again this so you can see it. Before this, you did perfect. Okay, let's do and give you a little bit higher because it's easier to do it on a higher ball. Perfect. This. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> That's it. How does this feel? Um, it feels weird. Why? Explain. Because uh, cause I'm just my wrist is so like strained when I'm at that angle. Like mm -hmm. it's already like starting to hurt. My wrist is is literally already starting to hurt. Show me, holding show, angle. show me. Show me a relaxed relaxed move. It doesn't. If it's hurt, it's not good. Oh. I, I so mean, do the movement I showed you with with uh, uh, giving attention that it's your wrist is relaxed, that you pull not not to any 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 pressure on your wrist, and do movement yes. with your mind. Okay, do movement. Is this okay? Yeah. Okay, do exactly this. Don't change it. Good. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Very good. Now it look it looked very very relaxed. Is it? Yeah. No no strain or nothing. No. Okay, this is how you should do it. Let's go. This. This try to brush it a little bit more. 
this. This. No strains. All good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Let's let's do a few of those so we get get used to it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's do another ten so you get used to it. Always relax. Yes. Don't don't put. Very good. It's it's just pure technique. And the best technique is that which makes you move naturally. If you do something which hurts anywhere, it's bad technique. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt. You, you should move your body exactly how it's meant to be moved. If you move in a way which gives you pressure, it, it means it's bad. That's how people get mm. tennis elbows, right? Because they move strange. There is pressure from, uh, from the ball, and, and over time, they will have a problem. Same with table tennis. If you do the wrong movement and you get pressure, you will have a problem with your wrist at some point. So move in a way with there's no pressure at all, just pure technique, pure movement. Good. That's, that looks good. Feels good? Yeah. All right. Let's do a few of those. Very good. Okay. So do you feel how short it is? Like, I got it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, so, got, it's got a more wrist. Like, yes, it's just yes, wrist. Backhand, yes, backhand is like 90% wrist. Only if you do then a, a faster move, then you move fast, and then your arm will just uh, go like this naturally. But it's 90% wrist. And, and no pressure. Okay, so let's do a few more. Be sure. Perfect. Yes, that's it. And this shot, if you do it like this, will translate 100% into real life. So when yeah. you go, you say you play at your job, when after yeah. this, and uh, watch the video and practice with the world class AI to put it on your backhand, or maybe better with heart because the, the balls come a little bit higher, and then practice this, and then go to, to your job where you play and do those movements, and if it's not wor if it doesn't work, you can spit me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> what if the ball like comes here and I have to reach for it? Yes, uh, yes. Can I do exactly. the same motion, just yes. like this. Everything. Yes, I can give you one. It's a, you do it perfectly like this. Just go there. Yes. Just it, it was a little bit too fast. A little bit when the ball. Yes, that's it. <coughs> so, no matter where the ball will go, what you have to do is exactly what you showed now. Yes, this movement. And if it goes short or left or right, you just when you hit it here, you just put. Put your racket wherever the ball is. So if it's short, right. you go close to the ball and do the same. If it's here, you go here and then play. If it's high, yes, wherever the ball is, you go close to the ball first. Because if it's short, some players start moving from here. This is wrong. If it's short, first you go here. Like give me, give me a shot, just like this, just like this, short, short, like this, short serve. Many people go this. This is wrong. The right way is to do this. I go there and then play this. You try. Go first. Yes, that's it. perfect. Go there. First go. Yes, there you go. Doesn't matter where the ball is. Perfect. And if it's go longer, you just do for that. Uh, now you, you know you did the, the old again. Did you realize? You did no, right I didn't. from here. You started doing this again. Yes. So to um, like exactly. Or I don't know. So to to try to fix this, because it has to do with the with the height. You are used to playing from here like this. So to to uh, solve this, I will give you high again where you do it good, and slowly, slowly, I will give you lower balls, right? And okay. you will do the same. A important thing, also important thing is another reason why you may play from here is because it's too low. You are too high, so your arm is here, and you play like this, right? A, a solution is like you have to open your legs to go a little bit deeper and bend a little bit your legs so you're here. Try it from there. Yes, try it like this. Yes, there you go. So it was you were standing to, uh, how do you call it? Just without bending, you, st you were standing like normal, right? But right, you, with that shot? No, no, there you went down. I could see it. The other yeah. One. Yes, so maybe that's the problem because if you are straight, your arm is here. From here, you cannot play. Yeah. Right? You have to play about. This is this is my. You can become. I have to come uh, running. Mine. Yes. So we'll see it also in the camera where I play. It's about in front of your belly. A little bit below yeah, your. Always yes. is right here. Yep. Good. 
a little bit below your chest, right? So maybe if it's here, it's too low. And maybe that's when you have to here. Yes, you have to go this. Try that. Go down and play from there. Oh, that, I was too close to it, wasn't yeah. I? Take take position. Open your legs and bend a little bit. Go down and play from now from there. You're still open. Do a short one. The short that you did before. Go with one. Yes. Let's let's try a little bit the short. So this may help. Perfect. Perfect. So you have to play exactly the same. Exactly the same. Just not from here. But from here, let's do let's do a few short again because there you do it good. Perfect. And wrist, let, let the wrist work and don't uh, always relax. Yes. Let's yeah, I'm not used to using wrist on my backhand. Getting used to it because yes. I used to just hit it. One thing. And you watch Flat. you watch YouTube, right? Yeah, I've learned everything off YouTube. <laughs> That's it. Taught myself. Take any Chinese top player, Pan Zedong, uh, Ma Long, uh, whoever, and look at their backhand. It's 90% uh, wrist. It's always this. Pop, 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 pop. Then they might go also with the arm sometimes. Yeah, but they go like flat. And they yes. <sighs> yes. On strong. When you see when they warm up, when they warm up, it's like this. Top, top, top. All women. Watch women, Chinese women table tennis. It's like this, what you showed now. So try again this. You go again up. Let's let's try the short. There you do a little bit closer. Closer angle. Yes. This. This. Perfect. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Since you do it good close, I will give you a short. You do what you do, which is perfect. And then slowly, slowly, I will give you longer balls so you can uh, learn to do the exact same thing. There you go. Let's try from there. And now you open a little bit. I give you a little bit shorter. Good. Because really you go in front and then you do this. It's very good. There you go. Now you a little bit longer. Same thing. Yes, that's it. That's it. There you go. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Now you go a little bit uh, low. Very good. Yes, that's it. This, this shot, 100% will go on the line. 100%. There's no, that's without any. Yes. So, you saw it was in the net. The only thing, the only thing you need to do is a little bit faster. Brush better. Yes, exactly. Brush better so you can pull the, pull the ball up. Perfect. That's it. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, you know what's difficult? If I take a kid, like six year old kid, never touched the racket, right? It's much, right. much easier to teach the kid something than somebody who is 25 or 30 and has played five years with the wrong technique. It's very, right. very, very difficult because it's like, uh, many, 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 many times and you, you just automatically play like this. So it's very difficult. But you will see, once you find it, then you do this repetition, 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 and the old will go away and uh, you are like reprogramming your, your brain. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Very good. Oh, now I got goosebumps. Every time somebody does something, I'm going to get goosebumps. Yes. Now, again, solution, a little bit more, yes, a little bit more brush. <laughs> That's it. Nice. That's a little bit more brush. And then. Perfect. Perfect. And you will see later in the video because it's one thing to feel in your hand and another thing to watch yourself. Then you say, oh, that's what I did. Because you yeah. feel a bit. If you see it on camera, it's a different thing. That's why it's so good to always record and then you can see what you're doing. And I'll open up. Let's a little bit more. That's it. Wrist okay? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. That's it. Perfect. 
There you go. You feel you got it now? Yeah. Or you want a little bit more? Or you feel like I got it now? But when I'm here, so if I'm here, sir, do the same thing mm -hmm. so I can. Yes, you have to, you have to move. So you have right. to, if you, how, 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 uh, how much are your legs apart? Where are they? Show me with the uh, sh shoulder width. Oh, shoulder, okay. So, are you bent at all with your, with your knees? Yeah. Are you straight, okay. So, if I'm standing here, which you shouldn't stand here in the first place. This is a bad spot to stand. Right, you I usually stand, stand here. Yeah, that's where you should stand. And I serve like this. Yes, that's where you should. But let's say you are here at some point in the game because somebody played here, right? Go in the middle. All right. Go in the middle, right. Which you should, but let's say at some point you are. Uh, give me one ball here. So the solution is not to play like this. The solution is, if I'm like this, to go play, to go first and then. Always, so always you have to play the back end in front of your body. So my body is here, that's my belly, right? Here's my right yeah. hand. I should always play from here. When the ball goes there, I shouldn't play this. I should go first with my body here. I'm bending right now my my left, yes, perfect. You're bending your left leg, uh, left knee, put your weight on your left leg so you can take this position and then you can play like this. Show me, you showed it very good. Show me without, yes, and then, that's it. Let's stay there, I will give you this, you do exactly the same. Then play, brush it a little bit more so you can go up. Yes, it's perfect, everything is perfect. You just need to brush it a little bit more so you can, yes. It is, it is soft, a little bit more. <laughs> yes, even more. You can you can go for it because if you if you give a good spin, the difference is what if I hit the ball like this straight. If I do a little bit too fast, it will it will can go out right. When you brush the ball, <laughs> and with the rotation, the ball will go like this, right? So right. I can give more rotation. Look how fast I see how fast I hit it. But the ball doesn't go far because I just brush it a little bit. I don't give it too much front push. So you can go for it. There you go. Be relaxed. With your okay, let's go again in the right position. Okay, so now I will give you. Let's see what time is. Okay, I will give you. You will spin and I will block. So you can do two in a row, right? <coughs> or however, how many you can play. Mm -hmm. Very good. Right. Don't have nothing. Yes. Yes, this. There you go. Brush it. Don't play like this. Always brush. Always. Your goal is always to play the ball like this. Not like this. Always like this. Always like this. Like, like if you play volleyball when you when you give a pass like this so the other one can uh, smash, right? Don't they do like this and goes up and the other one smashes, right? Someone right. Like, always go like this to the ball. That's it. That's it. Very good. I don't know. Change. Change. Always brush. Yes. With the brush you bring the ball in. Then you change now. Don't change. Don't yes. Don't open up your racket. You open now. Okay, let's go again. Because you're starting. You're starting to do this. Again. I feel like when the ball gets higher, I don't raise my arm. I just raise the racket like that. Y you should. Instead, instead of raising up. Yes. Wherever the ball is, doesn't matter where it is. The first thing you have to do is bring your racket to this position. So if I play like here, the ball is here. First I have to go like this, and then play. Like a little bit below the ball, so I can brush it. If it goes like here, first I have to raise my racket, and then do this. If it goes here, first I have to go here, and then brush it. Right? Wherever it is, wherever the ball is, you go a little bit lower, so you can brush it. Yes. Don't open, don't open the, the racket. Wrist. Now you do yeah, this. Yeah, forgetting to do wrist. 
all in the race. That's good. It's what how we started and how you are after now. It's very, very, very good. Just get used to to continue playing this. Use your wrist. Yes, that's it. Just go a few like this again, so you get used to it. All right. So I block. I block now again. Just two same. Exactly the same. Let's go. Crash. Let's go like one again. Now you start. Yeah, now you do this again. So let's let's do one just just work. You open a little bit. Yes, this was good. This was perfect. This was perfect. Yes, like this. There you go. There you go. Very good. Okay. Let's try again. Now you did this writing. You were here. You play, the second ball came a little bit lower. First you went there, doesn't matter if you did it, but you went uh, right, you did right. Very good. Right. Next. Yes. Yes, that's it. Always play very, because if you hands up, if I open my racket uh, with uh, strength, I cannot move it. Right? The more relaxed you are, the, I hold the racket just to hold the racket. Just to hold the racket, right? Right. So, don't, don't, don't like hold it like a hammer or something. Because the more you tense up, the less you can move, you, and your feeling goes away. The more relaxed you are, the faster you can move, and you have more feeling. So it's very, very important to have a relaxed. Yes, that's it. And again, same. That's it. Very good. Let's try two balls. Relax and brush. Now a little bit opened. Brush. This. And again. Yes. There you go. Don't open. Brush. Yes. This. And you will see in the video when you do it right, you have it a little. You, when you stop, the top is a little bit in front. When you do it wrong, the bottom is in front. You will see it in the video. So always when you finish. The top of the racket should be in front, and the back, the bottom, yes, like this. Bottom should be. There you go. There you go. Yes. Very good. There you go. That's it. Very good. Yes. Little open. A brush. Yes. Very good. Brush the ball. Yes. Always up. Always up. Yes. Don't open the. There you go. Very good. Up because it ended very good. So this, the way to practice this, is if if you want softer, you play with um, uh, hard AI, with reduced mistake. Put the, put the AI to play your ball only here, with a target the target so it plays only here yeah. and then you because it comes a little bit higher with hard so you can practice and when you feel like you're better you are like okay I got it now we, you will start getting bored because it's too easy it's too high then go word class I because the balls come a little bit uh, uh, faster but start first with uh, hard all right so what 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 else <coughs> is something you say oh I have problem with this backhand we fixed what else um, I noticed when, when I start first started playing VR and my forehand would work like this, I was hitting it like this, and then I got in the habit of doing this in real life, yes, and it would right. never never go in because, and then I've watched, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and I just keep saying over my head, down, up, down, up, so yes. my forehand now, I hold the angle, and I'm down, and I just go up, down. Uh, yes, and I just, I'm just starting to get mm -hmm. better at that. But my forehand went to where I couldn't even hit a shot at work because I was like starting up here, or like just right start. here. It doesn't matter where you start. It always depends just with your backhand. Sometimes you have to start from up. It always depends where the ball is. When the yeah, ball I know. is, the ball's here. yeah, I want to start up, here. Up, hit from here. If I hit from here, the ball will go up. When the ball is high, you have to start from here. 
It's exactly right. like with the backend. If the ball is here, I cannot start from here. If the ball is down, I will start from here. If the ball is up, I have to start from here. We can we can work on this a little bit. Anything else? I was, uh, hmm? No. Okay, let's do this. Let's do some forehands. Yes. Here you also. You also you showed me perfect technique. Yes. You showed me perfect technique without the ball. Now with the ball you start doing this again. As you did with your back. Yes. Brush it. Sh show me the movement. Brush that like this. Exactly what you did with your back. Yes. Let's do this. Brush it up. Yes. Yes. Be careful. You went a little bit open. Don't open the. Yes. And brush it. Yes. So with the backhand, you have your wrist to do it, right? In your forehand, do exactly the same, but you use your underarm. Forehand? Yes. Like the acceleration should come from your underarm. Here's my here's my uh, elbow. Here is the acceleration. This. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is exactly what you show. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Good. And then brush it. And the same again. Brush it. Brush the ball like to give it a uh, trajectory. Yes. That's it. Doesn't matter if it goes out. This was the perfect movement. This you have to do. Now, uh, uh, if it goes out, try to brush it more and uh, instead of hitting more, so it can come down faster. <laughs> the, the, everything you did with brushing. Yes. Now you see it went to the net, which means you need to brush. brush. Yes. Exactly. There you go. That's it. And do this again. Perfect. This was perfect. Let's go. Yes, that's it. There's no way that this will not go in in real life. No way. There's no way if you play in real life with the record you have and an 9 c that this ball will not go in. It's impossible. I'm doing this all my life. This is perfect movement, perfect touch. You brush the ball. So maybe your problem in real life is that you don't brush enough. Maybe you have to look at it next time you play. Maybe you do yeah. the movement, but don't brush it enough, and the ball maybe goes to the net, right? Brush it. Use the use the rubbers. Use the rubbers and brush the ball, just as you do now. This. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Not better because it did a little bit more acceleration to brush. Very good. That's it. Perfect. No way. Because you were, you were, you know, you were commenting on the video. Do I say, man? You're saying you went worse here and worse in real life, right? I say, man, this is not yeah. possible. It's not. There's like four of us that play at work, and over the years, I've become the best. And I was getting like my forehand was pretty. I wouldn't hardly miss any forehands, and my backhand was wrong, but it was still really good mm -hmm. on the balls that I get or whatever. And now, when I get a ball here, I go to hit it. And I feel like I'm doing this in real life, and it, it goes over every time. So maybe maybe you did what you did now when you opened this, because if I do this but open my racket, it goes out. Or maybe I'm just not brushing enough, like you said. Yes. But you did, did, in the beginning, you showed right movement, but then you did this again. So if you do in real life and you do this, it will go out. So if I show this, but then do this, because this will... Hit the ball up if you do this. Yes, you need to brush it. There's no way it will not come. Yes. If you want, when you play, when you play next time in your life, if you want, make a small video so I can check it out. If it doesn't work, it should work. If you do the same thing, it works 100%. If you see it doesn't work, if you have a camera, if you have a video, uh, a phone or something, uh, let somebody uh, record you a little bit on forehand, a few shots forehand, a few shots backhand, and I will tell you. But uh, you will do some, it, oh, it's 100%. If the ball goes out, you do something wrong. And probably what you showed me here, that what also with the backhand, when you do this and did, did, did this, this will uh, throw the ball out because you don't brush it. You have to don't when I hit my forehand, I tend to like kind of try to guide the ball like this and I end up like over here. Like no. this. I'll try to hit it and I'll just be like this. 
You have always to brush the ball. This is not good. And I need to just, I need to just do this. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And brush. In real life, concentrate on the rubber, not the blade. Just the, the top sheet of the rubber, just here is the top sheet, just this. Right? Not this. This. And we should do this, then this happens. If I hit too much, then this happens. Yes, like this. And this you can do all, yes. If it goes up like now, it means you're using the top sheet of the rubber and you're giving spin to the ball. I try try again. Yes. This exactly the same thing will happen with a real racket. Exactly the same thing. It's no doubt about it. Yes. This means you're using the rubber. Let's let's play a few. More like like you did before one time when you give a little bit more acceleration, a little bit more. This was very good. Doesn't matter if it went out. Now the problem when it goes out is your contact has more blade than rubber. This you have to remember. Do exactly the same thing, exactly the same speed, but constantly more brushing for it. See how well, it means to look very this perfect. Just went net, brush it a little more up. Okay. Yes. Hi. This was contact. Just brush more. Yes. Yes. Whenever it goes down, it means you didn't brush enough. The solution right. is not your record. The solution is to brush more. Yes. I can pull up more. More. There you go. Better contact, more brush to fit, yes. <laughs> now to the, b what you said, uh, oh my gosh, if I don't move, I'm an old man. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? This is not mine. Uh, maybe from there. It, it was in my ass all the time, that's why. <laughs> what is it? This is a controller, but from where? What the fuck? Do you have yours? This yeah. Maybe from <laughs> okay. So with the high why well, I feel strange now, this thing having in my ass. <laughs> it feels strange that it's knowing it's there. So the higher balls you said before. <laughs> Let's try a few of those, see what you do. Oh. Um, this was very good. You should play like this, also in real life. But same thing again. The most important thing, your movement is perfect, but movement is not everything. One is the right movement, right? But even more important is the touch. So you need to brush. I can do, look, I will do same movement. The ball goes out, right? And now it will go in. What was the difference? Did you see any? Uh, yes, that's it. It's a contact. So I give you high, you did the right movement, brush it. Yes, that's it. See, I blocked it, it went out. Yes, that's it. Yes. Hi. So this was, again, good. That high, I feel like I'm trying to hit it like this. Yes, that's how you should do. But I need to, like, try, I need to have more angle and still well, go up. If it's if it's high, so if it's the higher it is, the lower it is, it's like this. The higher it is, I have to close the angle because the ball right. has to go down. When it's down, it has to go up. So I play from from here. I will play like this because it has to go more up. From here, I close a little bit. From here, I play in front because the ball has to go down. If you play like here up, it will go up. So right. Contact, yes. Not like this. Brush. Always brush. Yes. Like when it goes high, your goal is to play like this on the top of the ball. Right. Slower, you can do this. Yes. Like this on the top and give it this rotation. Let's try. And brush. Always brush. 
There you go. Yes. This compact is very good with uh, heart because in the beginning when I came here, I, had, I, had a lot, I lost a lot of high balls. I realized I didn't lose any high balls. I can play them this close. I was losing all the high balls. And then I, I played with um, Bird Class uh, with heart AI because it always throws the ball high. So I can practice this, 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 do this for those shots, uh, hard AI because it uh, elevates the ball, and then practice this all the time. Racket is closed, right? So if I don't brush, if I don't brush, the ball will fall down. But if I brush, I can even hold it like this. Look, if I brush, the ball will go in. Because I give it this trajectory and pull it there. You need to brush the ball. Yes. Everything was okay, everything was perfect, angle was perfect, movement was perfect, but contact, brush is more. Yes. Okay. If it goes lower, you change angle. If it goes very low, you change it more. The same. You did good angle, but you didn't brush enough. You did everything okay again, but you need to brush it a little bit more. To the bottom. Yes, but don't change. Up, just straight up. Like this, but more. Brush it more. You, you, you move it. Like that. Like that. You see it's net? Brush a little bit more. You close the angle. Open the brush it up. There you go. With uh, from chop, if I give you chop, you spin the ball from down up. I give you chop on your forehand. What do you want me to do? You do a spin. Hit it. Uh, spin the same thing you do from here. What do you do from here? Show me this. This. Brush a little bit more. You you. It's it's too little. Brush it a little bit more. I wasn't moving, I was just okay. standing yeah. That's it. That's what you do on uh, chop. Down up. That's it. Don't open your racket. Close racket. Yes, but you need to... Need to uh, how, how, where are your legs? Show me your legs. Your face in that way. Is your right a little bit back? Just a little bit? Well, right now my right's a little forward. Because I was... Side. Okay, you are going to do the Okay, you have to go a little bit, back. and then you have to little bit bend down a little bit with your knees. Yeah. And then you you open up the arm more on top, like you go here, so you can swing more. Show me. Down up this. With this, I give you a chop. Down up. With this. Oh, sir. Now, open your don't open your racket. Rush it. Now you're doing this. Because you want to lift it with your blade. Don't lift it with your blade. Same with, show me again with our I do the whole movement that you showed me. Down up. Down up a little more down. This. So this. But because it's a back spin rotates like this and goes down, right? So in order to, uh, to uh, change this, you need to brush more. Because the ball now wants to go down. You want to play it up. So you need to brush more. Usually when the ball comes flat, the ball comes like this, right? So you brush a little bit to give it this trajectory. When the ball comes in backspin, it wants to go down. So you need to brush more to double to, uh, to go high. Show again. Without. Down, up. A little bit more back. A little bit more backspin. Up. Yes. A little bit faster. Yes. 
we'll get this, this, perfect, this, we'll get to this. Contact, brush, don't touch. Let me see, okay. All right, what else? That's it. That's it. Yeah. I was just, my main problem was I needed somebody to uh, line out my backhand because yeah. it didn't feel right in VR. Mm -hmm. All right, so nothing else. Let me see your serves. Let me you see your serves. Do a few serves. Oh, I do serves. Good. Do all yeah. this you're doing. Good, very good. The very good thing here is that it jumps the second bounce. That's very good. Do all the things you do in VR so I can pick them up. This is and I do that one. Okay. Very good. Okay, this was meant to be long or short? That was long. That's long. Okay. The short is good. The short you do is very good. Second bounce here. So the opponent cannot attack. Was good. Spin look good. Your long is not good. This was your long. This, if you do this to me, give me, and it's game over, right? Or anyone who has a, a good, a good spin. So you can do. Yes, to put it in the middle. You do this. I do this. This was better. So the solution is, if you serve long, it has to be fast. So if I serve, look, if I give you like this. Does it seem difficult to you? No. No. If I do this, is this the same or it's more difficult? Well, it's more, well, it wasn't, I knew you were going to do it, so it wasn't that difficult for me to reach over yeah. here. But if you don't know, and I do one there, and then the solution is to try to do it more fast. Do, uh, so to do it more fast, you have to go into the table. Like, not like it, but you have to go here. Fast. Hit it more. Hit it more. Faster. This is too soft. Yes, and brush it more. Give more backspin. Yes, this. If this is. If this <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's why you like this. You have to like it more. Right? Yes. <laughs> to make us go uh, play it a little bit more in front. Now, same, uh, all, all same, all, all what you did same, but instead of playing here, play it more there. Yes. Yes. So this one, stop. This one was very good, but it went out because you you served it from too high. So if you serve from too high and you t hit too much, it will jump here and jump high. The solution is to hit the ball lower to the table. So it cannot jump high. So if I do it here from high, it goes out, see? If, because it goes like this and goes like this. So the solution is to hit it more from low so it can go like this and this. So it doesn't have this high. So I uh, practice it from here, see? Hit it more low. Your point of contact closer to the table. Let it fall more. Yes. More, a little bit more. Uh, hit it. Yes. Uh, give more backspin. A little bit more backspin, like more brush. Yes. <laughs> this is good, but you went too much like this. Go more front. More from back to the front. Yes, this was better. Swing, you're swinging from here, swing from here. Like, yes, this, do this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, this is a different serve. Yes, so if you, because if you, you can come more from back, from back so you can, can give it more in front instead of this. More back front. You come to more up. Show me, show me without, show me without, without ball. More from the, uh, more lower, lower. Back front, yes, do this. Do this. Hey. 
a little bit more from back front. Here you go. This was perfect. So you can practice this thing. Yes, this is much better. Show me other serves. Other serves you do? Huh? Those are the serves? Other serves you do? Well, I'll do the same thing, but then I'll do backspin over there. Something, something different. You, those are the serves you do? Yeah. Okay. Do that and then the side spin one. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same, yes, exactly the same. Just you put the side spin, do with the side spin. And what you can do, since you do this and side spin, you can do also up to, uh, yes. The only thing you do is you change your, yes, you change your angle a little bit more to the side, like this. If you hit it, it has a little bit up spin. Hit the ball. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more like this. No, no, like this. No, 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 like this. Like this. Like this. Play the ball. You, you can see. I will give you some serves, and you will see the difference. Yes, but, but same. No, no. Show me the show me the 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 other you did with backspin, back and side. This. It's exactly the same. Wind. This was back and side. So you do back and side. You do exactly the same, but you bend your your wrist a little bit down, but do exactly the same. Exactly the same movement as before, just with different angle. And brush it. Like one is this, what you did, this. Play and you would see, I uh, uh, try to return, so you would see the difference in spin. This is what you did before. I'm a chopper. I'm a chop server. I okay. Ah, okay. Okay, if you don't want to, ah, you don't want to open up the game. You prefer to do uh, chop. Yeah, I always, I always just chop serves. Okay. I don't normally attack it unless I realize it's long, and then I'll try to hit it. If I do, if I do this, what you do? Then chop. Because this is side spin. Huh? You want to know how to attack? Um, I'll try. I mean, go for it. So I you do probably... exactly the same as you did. Before with your backhand, exactly the same. Just have to push it, yes, like this. Brush it more. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, just brush it. You, now you opened. Don't open your neck. Show me without. Now when when it's backspin, you have to yes, you have to go a little bit. Go. Yes, not too much like this. A little bit in front. A little bit more in front. Yes, down up, down. Like this, yes. Do this. Oh, no. you did with your brush it. Close your racket a little bit more. Now, now you do this again. Show me without. Are we doing backspin? Yes. This, this, this. Do this. Now you open it again. Open it in front. Like this. There you go. This, this was good. This was good. This was perfect. Just how to touch a little bit. The, the movement was perfect. Don't open. You open your record again. This. Now concentrate more on the brush. Don't open it. Brush it. You open it again. This. This. Brush it a little bit more. Better brush. This. That's how you do it. Yes. <coughs> so the, this you can all, this you can practice also with the AI because if chop to the AI, it will chop back, right? So you can ch uh, do a chop serve. It will chop back. You can put it on backhand or forehand, wherever you want. You do chop serve, and it will chop back, and then you can do this. All right. Anything else? Now that's pretty much it. Good. And how you feel now? Did we solve it? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, because I was under the impression that I had to have my paddle flat like oh, this. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. And I was no. like, this is so uncomfortable. I'm like, I'm not. You can do it. I, mean, I do also sometimes this and then this, but it's not, you don't have to. Yes. You don't. So you do this when, when uh, there's heavy, heavy chop on my, you know, but not for this. Yeah, what we are doing. I, um, 
How would I put sp more speed on it? Mm -hmm. Just use more forehand. How right. you mean? You mean how? You yeah. Ask what how? I just... Okay. You just uh, you you use your your you you do the same thing. Okay. Give me two balls. To show you. You can also just with the wrist. You can also just with the wrist. Just do you go again. Just do faster. Sorry. See, just just faster movement. Or you can you can stretch your arm. When you go like this, what you did before, exactly the same. And you you stretch your arm straight, all the way. Is it is it now stretched? How? Yeah. Stretch. Okay. This you do. So you do the same. Give me two three balls. So we worked on this, right? Give me again. Just give me more balls. We worked on this. So you do the same, but then you let you let you stretch your arm in front, and you have to close the rectum a little bit, like this. See? Yeah, you just stretch it. You can see mine. You will see also my my arm how it works. So you do this. My angle, uh, my um, uh, elbow is here, and then I stretch my arm out, totally out. Show me. But faster. All, all relaxed, yes. All relaxed. Don't have tension anywhere. This is relaxed. You are relaxed everywhere. Good. Just acceleration. Acceleration of my forearm is pretty much doing the wrist. Okay. So try this. There you go. Uh, but you have to brush it more. You change. Show me again without. This, this, do the same. I will give you a little bit higher so it's easier. Yes. And the other thing is uh, when you do faster shots, you need to uh, mm, hit the ball more in front, not here. Here is when you do the normal shots. So when you want to do faster, you don't just hit it here and then stretch your arm. You have to stretch your arm before, and when it's almost stretched, you hit the ball. Because you have the acceleration, the acceleration needs to be before you hit the ball. If you right. don't fast, you hit it here in front of you, right? You do this. When I do fast, I try to hit it here, so I can I can open my arm a little bit till there, so it has more the speed will go on on the ball. If I do this and then just uh, continue, it will not have the same impact. So try to hit it sooner, like so much sooner, right? Brush it. You're not brushing, you're hitting the ball. Just do a, do a softer, do one softer. Yes. This, just faster. Just, you do not, yes. The same thing, just faster. Yes, but you, you're not hitting it. Brush again, just brush. So, this is the same. You, you have to do exactly the same, just faster and let your arm go wherever it goes. And you, you're changing now. Show me again. This brush. This. This. Brush. Brush the ball. Concentrate on brushing the ball. But let your go. You are. You are doing this. You are hitting it. Show me the brush. Soft. Okay, show me the same movement and just let your arm go out. This. Go do this. This, 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 this perfect. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. What? Uh, I mean, you're satisfied? Everything good? Yeah. Good. All right then. So I will upload this video. You can uh, watch it and practice it. And you're good to go. And you will see the same things. If you play like this, real life, your shots be like this and will be much better. You will see. Sweet. All right. Hey, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. Nice. So, you see, it's all about technique. 
and touch because uh, you may look at um, am I still going? yes you may look at watch YouTube videos and you see people do this movement and you do the same or you do see backhand and do the same and then you do it it doesn't go right and you don't understand why I say why I see this on TV and it goes oh why because you need to touch the touch is much more important than the than the technique because technique without touch you cannot play but you can play touch without technique I mean I can do this just the touch right but if I do perfect technique but don't have a good touch oh god perfect technique and touch it's of course the best thing this same backhand oh this was nice because he had he had you know trouble finding the right things and we were talking on youtube and you know he said he he got worse and now we fixed it so we saw that it was the technique he opened up the back end like this fixed this relaxed also that he uh, uh, was tense in the wrist relaxed the wrist good uh, movement good brush and that's it and once you find it then it's uh, repetition, 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 in forehand. And that's it. All right, trade dog. I hope now this will help you play better in VR and also in real life. And <laughs> hey, what you doing there? Wait, what are you standing there all the time? Down, down, boom. Did I? Did I show the lights? So I should have done better before that. And I burned 31 calories. It's nothing. That's not even chocolate. What, 30 calories is uh, maybe a lollipop. So that's it. And we'll upload this now. Oh, and I talked with um, this guy. I uploaded from um, the one guy who played first division also, junior team. He will come tomorrow my house and he will try for the first time uh, VR and we will got this first impression. I remember my first version. I go, oh my God, what the fuck is this? Man, this is real. This is real. I hope he doesn't fall. I hope he doesn't break my TV. And then another guy with whom I played the finals in the uh, veterans seven years ago. Uh, I told him also. He said, "What? We? What? Where can I buy it?" <laughs> so, but those two guys, I will come. Will be coming for my spot because they are really good table tennis players. So I hope I can enjoy. Before they come, I hope I can break my high score to 3,207 because they are going to be dangerous, very dangerous. So that's it for now. Logging out. Chakal.